Welcome back to Hoosier Who Flies RC. And as we go into this video, you may wonder what it has to do with flying RC airplanes. Well, it's tangential at best, but I have interest in other things as well, like all of us, I suspect. And one of those things that has fascinated me for many years is GPS and GPS maps and the ability to use programs like Apple Maps and Garmin, uh, Google, uh, Flight or ForeFlight, when, when I'm actually out flying full-scale airplanes like I was earlier today and I will be later today. <coughs> GPS has made such a huge difference in most of our lives. I mean, being able to find things without a Rand McNally Atlas. Uh, but, you know, you look at these mapping programs that we have on our smartphones today, and there was nothing like that 30 or 40 years ago when we were all navigating with street maps in our car with paper maps or sometimes stopping at the gas station and asking where the certain street was or certain address. But anyway, we have certainly come a long way. And I do use Google Maps a lot. Apple Maps some when I'm going to places and I do that not because I don't know the way I do know how to find places I know how to get to my local Kroger I know how to get to Corsair Flying Field out in Danville Northeast Tail Draggers and Noblesville I mean all around town but I'm often traveling during periods of heavy traffic and it's really, really helpful to be able to see where the traffic jams are, especially here in the summertime when we have cone zones on just about every major route around town on all the interstates and a lot of the local streets getting repaved or widened. And just today I had to take a four mile detour to get to Indy Regional Airport because they're widening the road in front of the main entrance, which is closed, so we have to loop way around to the back and go in a, a very hard to find back way through a, a gate that you have to know the code to get through. I mean, it's just ridiculous to get into the parking lot there anymore. But anyway, uh, in the process of using Apple Maps and Google Maps, I've discovered some significant differences in many of the places that I go to. Uh, some of them Apple Maps can't even find, particularly my RC flying fields, which makes Apple Maps useless for monitoring traffic on the way to my destination since it can't find my destination. And I've found a few other interesting little glitches in Apple Maps, and I'm sure Google Maps has some as well, but overall I've discovered that Google Maps is worth a little bit of extra effort that it may take to use on my iPhone. So I'm going to go out to the car. I'm going to show you the setup that I used to film this, which was very simple. I put my GoPro mounted on a suction cup to my sunroof, aimed it at the display, and we will go off-site, away from the house, to another location. We'll park, and I will show you from that location some of the interesting things that I have found about Google Maps versus Apple Maps. So ride along with me and uh, hope you watch the whole thing. But if you're not interested, I totally understand. You can quit anytime you want to. This is YouTube after all. So have a great day and let's go out to the car. Thank you for watching. Here's the setup here in the car with GoPro up there, aim down there. I'll be using the iPhone just for directions and we'll be videoing what happens. Okay, I'm in the car and parked. We'll try some experiments while we're not driving. So, we're going to try first an obscure address on Apple Maps. Hey Siri, Apple Maps. 
Siri. Hey Siri. Northeast Tail Draggers RC Club, Noblesville. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please say that again? Northeast Tail Draggers RC Club, Noblesville. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Please try again in a little while. Okay, let's try. Where that. would you like to go? Northeast Tail Draggers RC Club, Noblesville. I didn't find any matching places. Finally, after that. I wonder if I type it in. Okay, can't find Northeast Tail Draggers, even if I type it in. Hey Google, I mean, hey Siri, Google Maps. Okay, so here we are, Google Maps. Let's try that again, this time using Google Search. Northeast Tail Draggers RC Club, Noblesville. There it is. 28 minutes, 22 miles away. That is the correct route. Hmm. So it appears that the problem here is that there's something between, some barrier between the full address, business, location, information that is embedded in Google search that Google actually uh, is the source of all of that and Apple. Apple doesn't have its own search engine. But there's something going on here between CarPlay, Google, and Siri, and Apple's constraints that they may put on Siri used in CarPlay that they may not have on their search facilities or search capabilities just within your device. Because we're trying to search here using CarPlay. And I do know that if we do this, hey Siri, hey Google, I can't do that while you're driving. You'll need to continue on your phone, but I advise against it. So I think that's maybe the issue here, that, that Apple has put constraints on how Siri can, or how much information you can get out of Google search when you're using CarPlay. And those constraints may not apply when your, uh, when you're using Siri on your phone or iPad or Mac. Let's try one more thing. Hey Siri, Apple Maps. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Cancel that. Try this again. I'd be happy to give you directions. Where would you like to go? 1229 North Pennsylvania. Getting directions to 1229 North Pennsylvania Street, Indianapolis. Let's give that one more try. I may have let's end that route. I think I may have said the wrong thing. Let's try it again. Where would you like to go? 12999 North Pennsylvania. Getting directions to North Pennsylvania Street, Carmel. Okay, so look, we dropped the street number when it did that. It did not do 12999, it just gave me directions to Pennsylvania Street here in Carmel. Let's try this on Google Maps. Hey Siri, 
Google Maps. So we need to go back, search, voice. One two nine 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 North Pennsylvania. Didn't understand it. Let's try it again. One two nine 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 North Pennsylvania. Ah, there it is. I must have paused between the two and the nine. So nothing here is perfect, obviously, but at least, unlike Apple Maps, when you dictate this into Google Maps, it uses the full addressing capability of Google and gives you the correct address. If you ask for that address on an iPhone, not connected to CarPlay, it will give you the address. So you got to wonder how many more of these uh, obscure addresses there are that Apple does not allow you to uh, use its voice command through Siri to dictate the address and give you the correct directions, if it can find directions at all. Let's try one more. Hey Siri, Apple Maps. Search using Siri. Where would you like to go? Corsair Field, Danville, Indiana. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please say that again? Corsair Field, Danville, Indiana. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Please try again in a little while. Let's try this on Google. Hey Siri, Google Maps. And go back to search. Let's see if I can find my other flying field where I'm a member. Corsair Field, Danville, Indiana. That is the correct address. 45 minutes away, 33 miles from here. And it, this happens not all the time. I mean, Siri is okay if you want to go to, uh, let's say, the nearest Kroger store or the nearest Market District store where it happen to be parked right now. Let's try that. Hey, Siri. Apple Maps. Where would you like to go? Nearest Kroger. One option is Kroger on South Rangeline Road in Carmel, about two miles to your east, and it gets four stars on Yelp. Do you want that one? Yes. Getting directions to Kroger. That worked. Hey Siri, Google Maps. So let's go back, search, voice. Nearest Kroger. And pick that one. And that's correct. Same address. So for normal, fairly prominent businesses, <clears throat> even some obscure businesses, either one of these solutions will work. However, because of the details and Google Maps that aren't present in Apple Maps. This is satellite view and actually uh, I have the uh, view in Apple Maps also set to satellite. Hey Google, I mean hey Siri, Apple Maps. This is, oops, wrong way. This is the view you get. This is the view on Apple Maps of what they call satellite view, which is much less detailed, and it has much fewer businesses highlighted, <clears throat> and you don't get to see the pretty terrain as you fly by overhead. So that, that'll wrap it up. Again, just to summarize, 
Apple Maps and Google Maps both function pretty well, normal day-to-day -day stuff, but Google, in my experience, has been much less troublesome and much more reliable when looking up addresses. Have a great day, and we'll see you back on the channel sometime in the future. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.